what to do to get quality women into your life, how to approach them, how to maximize your social skills. We're going to do part two now on how to figure out what women truly want. That's it. How do you figure out what they want? And once you know what they want, then you know how to start conversations and move forward with ease. We talked earlier about uh, there's three main points. You can break them down. We got confidence, chemistry, and conversation. Confidence can be displayed in a lot of different ways. We broke that down into what? Uh, confidence can be shown by uh, leadership, uh, uh, you know, safety, things of that nature. Chemistry is a real interesting one as well because chemistry also can be broken into a shared connection, uh, some sort of a conversation. And this allows comfort building. It allows you to stress things like family values and your responsibilities. That's what women are looking for. You know, it's not about all the money you have and not about all the beautiful BMWs you drive. Sure, there are people like that. But generally speaking, you want to give them the bigger picture, things that are really more satisfying to them. So showing chemistry uh, is done like this. How many times have you seen guys walk up to girls and within a minute or so they're asking for a phone number? They're asking for names. Where do you work? Where do you live? What do you do? You're totally imposing upon that woman. Expect to be rejected. Expect to be blown off. You want to go into a conversation and, ex and, and imagine that the person you're talking to is, is not a woman. In other words, what you're using as an intro could be used on a person you're not interested in. It could be used on a guy. It could be used on a woman. It could be used on anybody. So it's very, very non-threatening. So you could say something like this to show there's some sort of a chemistry or build a chemistry or bond with a woman. You could say, hey, you know, me and my two nieces are going to Disneyland this weekend. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Now think about that question for a moment. Very non-threatening. You could use it in any situation. And yet, it shows that what? You have some sort of a connection or a good conversation starter with that particular woman. Very, very interesting. Now, as far as showing security, that's another thing that women are looking for. How do you show security to a woman? Well, sure, you could pull out a wad of $100 bills and buy expensive uh, drinks and wear an expensive watch. That could be one approach, but let's think of it from a little more meaningful and more uh, respectable level, shall we? Showing security is nothing more than conveying your message as a man with a plan. A man with a plan. A guy who knows where he's going. A guy who's working on a specific goal for the future. And those are the kinds of pieces of information that you want to embed into your conversation with a woman. So, for example, you could always say something like, uh, you know, me and my friends gave up corporate America to pursue the entrepreneurial dream and to be you know, successful risk takers. And just from that statement alone, you're conveying confidence, leadership. We talked about that earlier. You're showing that you have security either now or you will have it in the future. And that's what most women are looking for, security. So sure, if you flash the money, that shows it. But you can 